Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have 1 over 2, then all of them to the power of 2, then times open parenthesis 7 plus 3 over 4 close parenthesis. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have exponent, multiplication, parenthesis, and addition. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. We have 7 plus 3 over 4. Since the denominator of this fraction is 4, we can write 7 as 28 over 4. Now we have 28 over 4 plus 3 over 4. Okay guys, inside these parentheses we have 28 over 4 plus 3 over 4. Now the question is 1 over 2 then all of them to the power of 2. Then times open parentheses, 28 over 4 plus 3 over 4 close parentheses. We have exponent, multiplication, parentheses, and addition. First, we simplify these parentheses. 28 over 4 plus 3 over 4 equals 31 over 4. Now inside these parentheses, we have 31 over 4. Now the question is, 1 over 2, then all of them to the power of 2, then times 31 over 4. Now we have exponent and multiplication. First, we simplify this exponent. Because exponent has higher priority than multiplication. 1 over 2 to the power of 2 equals 1 over 4. Now we have 1 over 4 times 31 over 4. 1 over 4 times 31 over 4 equals 31 over 16. The final answer of this question equals 31 over 16. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. Negative 6 plus 6 times negative 5 plus 5, then times 8. What is the answer of this question? Can you solve it? Some people solve this question like this. They say negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. 0 times negative 5 plus 5, which equals 0, then times 8. 0 times 0 equals 0, and 0 times 8 equals 0. Again, some people solve this question like this. Negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. 0 times negative 5 plus 5, then times 8. Again, they start from the left and simplify the question. 0 times negative 5 equals 0. 0 plus 5, then times 8. 0 plus 5 equals 5, and 5 times 8 equals 40. They say the final answer of this question equals 40. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. As you know, in this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. In this question, we have addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. 6 times negative 5 equals negative 30. Now the question is negative 6 minus 30 plus 5, then times 8. Now we have subtraction, addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. 5 times 8 equals 40. Okay, guys. Now the question is negative 6 minus 30, then plus 40. Negative 6 minus 30 equals negative 36. Negative 36 plus 40 equals 4. And the final answer of this question equals 4. Okay, guys. If you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. In this question, we have 4 to the power of 3 plus open parentheses, 4 plus 3 close parentheses, then times open parentheses, 4 plus 3, 
close parenthesis minus 4 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have exponent, addition, parenthesis, multiplication, and subtraction. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and this stands for subtraction. Some people solve this question like this. They say 4 to the power of 3 equals 64. 64 plus 4 plus 3 which equals 7 then times 4 plus 3 which equals 7 then minus 4 to the power of 2 which equals 16. Again they start from the left and simplify the question. 64 plus 7 equals 71. 71 times 7 then minus 16. 71 times 7 equals 497. 497 minus 16 equals 481. They say the final answer of this question equals 481. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this parenthesis. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Now the question is 4 to the power of 3 plus 7 then times open parenthesis 4 plus 3 close parenthesis minus 4 to the power of 2. Now we have exponent, addition, multiplication, parenthesis and subtraction. In this step, we simplify this parenthesis. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Now the question is 4 to the power of 3 plus 7 times 7 then minus 4 to the power of 2. Now we have exponent, addition, multiplication and subtraction. First, we simplify this exponent. 4 to the power of 3 equals 64. 64 plus 7 times 7, then minus 4 to the power of 2, which equals 16. Okay, guys, now we have addition, multiplication, and subtraction. First, we do this multiplication. 7 times 7 equals 49. Now the question is 64 plus 49, then minus 16. 64 plus 49 equals 113. Now the question is 113 minus 16. 113 minus 16 equals 97. The final answer of this question equals 97. Guys, if you want to get the right answer of this question, you must follow the PEMDAS rule. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Thanks for watching guys. To see more mass videos, subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.